How's it going all you most amazing guys? I'm Landon Dallasing and welcome here to a brand new most amazing top 10 video. Let's not waste any time here. Since the first video did so well, we're doing a part two. This is the top 10 dumbest text messages part two. If you guys missed the first one, click right over here and I'll put the link in the description below. Get caught up and then come watch this video. So thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. It's time to get dumb and very funny. Starting us off number 10 with this one. You left your phone at home. This was sent to this person's dad and I guess there was no reply. Do you want to know why there was no reply? Well, maybe it's because he left his phone at home. How is he going to reply to it? This just doesn't make sense and I don't think this guy gets how this stuff works. Maybe you should go to your dad's work, give him his phone. I mean, that would be a lot better than just texting your dad's phone. Things are about to get a hella awkward with this next one at number nine. Love, what do you want? Quantity or quality orgasms tonight? Dad, wrong number. Dot, dot, dot everywhere. Ignore this. Is this real life right now? What the heck just happened? Did this dad just text his kid? by mistake asking their mom if she wants to have quick sex tonight or if you know they should get in the groove and take their time I would try to find one of those man in black memory sticks all right I want you guys to look over here and then you just zap their memory because this is one hell of an embarrassing memory uh, and you don't want your kids to, to have it <laughs> all right Laughing at number eight with more dumbness in this. Hey John, hey, did you know Microsoft just bought Skype for more than $10 million? Really? Idiot! They could have downloaded it for free. This is just way too funny on too many levels. I mean, is this guy serious right now? This guy just thought Microsoft got a Skype account for $10 million. How does he even think that? I bet his friend is thinking, you know what? I can just sell to another company his Skype account and become rich. Well, hopefully he does doesn't go out on a big spending spree uh, before he tries to sell his account or realizes a big mistake he has made. Imagine seeing this on eBay, like you see a Skype account with the username dumdum23 on sale for $9 million. The description would be like, this is a steal. Microsoft bought it for $10 million. I'm giving it to anyone else for $9 million. And if you buy two accounts right now, you get the third one free. Moving into number seven with an autocorrect fail that turns embarrassing. Hey mom, can I sleep at dance tonight? We're just going to bang. Oh, and we'll call Josh so he can join us as well. His mom doesn't care. She'll be there with us too. Okay, wait a minute. Let me just stop this conversation right there. This guy just told his mom he's gonna have a big orgy with a few of his buddies and they're bringing their mom. Well, this is what the mom said. What? It. Are you joking? You better be joking. I thought you had a girlfriend. What are you doing in this orgy? Well, she, she okay, I, I made that last part up. But oh man, sorry mom. Jesus, I meant hang, as in hang out. This mom was so dumb, she actually thought this orgy was going down. And for some reason, her son felt so close to her that, you know, he told her about it. Well, the conversation goes on. Oh, I thought you finally came out of the closet. Mom! Yeah, I don't think she made things any better. <laughs> This next one, this boyfriend trolls his girlfriend, but I don't think it was intentional. At number six, we have this. Happy birthday, baby. Aw, thank you, sweetheart. What did you get me? It was supposed to be a surprise, but remember that pink Mercedes that you wanted so badly? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. I'm screaming now, oh my gosh, exclamation mark. I think she's excited. Well, I got you a toothbrush in the same color. Then the girlfriend just replied with dot dot dot. I think she just broke up with him because this was so dumb. He got his girlfriend to freak out because she thought that he just bought her a Mercedes Benz. And what the heck, like, what does he do for a living? Like, what is his job that his girlfriend thought that he just bought her a car for her birthday? I wonder what she gets for Christmas. Because damn, I would date this guy to get a Mercedes. And why the heck did this guy just buy his girlfriend a toothbrush? I mean, what are you trying to say? Why are you being so cheap? <laughs> All right, are you guys ready for this next one? Okay, one, two, three, boom. Number five, we have this. Hey, I have to tell you something. Hey, I do too. Okay, let's say it at the same time. Okay, one, two, three. Three. Can we break up? Will you marry me? Is this real life right now? This is two completely opposite things. This was so dumb. I would have said, okay, what is it? You go first and I'll, I have something to tell you right after. If this person says they're breaking up with me, I would not come back and say, will you marry me? And why was this a proposal on the phone and not in person? Clearly you guys are not on the same wavelengths. Clearly you don't really know this person, but I do wonder how this conversation continued on. 
Number four, I can't help but to laugh at this next one, and I'm hoping this person isn't serious. Is everything okay? Yeah, it just needs some space. Then this person just sends pictures of space. I mean, this is pretty funny, and it would cheer me up, but I think there's a chance that this person actually thought Sarah wanted pictures of space for some reason. I would have been like, oh, that's kind of weird, but here you go. Here's pictures of space. Hope you feel better. I wonder if Sarah was pissed off or if, if it cheered her up. I, I don't know. I, Sarah. Sarah knows. All right, gangster friend comes into number three. Dude, what is your street name? Little Marco. You live on a street called Little Marco? Oh, you meant address. Yeah, what else was he asking? Was he asking for your gangster name? Like, hey, yo, G, what is your gangster name? <laughs> like, why do you have a gangster name? Like, it's just, this is just way too funny. Yo, give me all your money. Oh, shit, what is it? Is your, does your name tag say Little Marco on it? Is that your gangster name or something? Bam, bam! I couldn't take you serious. All right, moving into number two, we have another mom who is just trying to figure out the world of technology. She sends a picture to her kid and says, it's a beautiful day. Wish you were here. Just look at the view. Mom, your finger is covering the lens. Oops, can you see it now? And then she resends the picture. You can't just resend the picture. You have to take another one. How about now? And she resends the picture again. Looks great, mom. This is the funniest thing ever. This mom actually believes this this picture would update and her finger would just no longer be in the frame. What is this, some Harry Potter going on where pictures can just move on its own? I like how at the end the person just gave up and just didn't care about the view. They were just like, yeah, looks good, mom. Finally, at number one, I don't I don't even want this video to end. I'm, I'm for sure gonna do a part three. I really like these. Well, we have this one that makes no sense. All right, so listen to this. Why aren't you answering? Sorry, I dropped my phone and I can't find it. I'll text you when I find it. Okay, you find it yet? No. Okay, let me know when you do. I'm not even sure what to say for this one. This is John's buddy. How the heck did you even text back saying, I'll text you when I find my phone? Then John was like, oh, shit, I hope you find your phone, man. If you don't find it, then, you know, we won't be able to text anymore. And I wonder how many days it took this guy to find his phone. He probably gave like hourly updates on his phone, trying to find his phone. And the conversation was probably like, did you find your phone yet? Nope. It's been two weeks, man. I know, right? These iPhones are like a thing of the future. They just get up and walk. These phones are just way too smart these days. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys all in a brand new one soon. <laughs>